Oklahoma loves New York too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, America, I have a question. Are you ready for change? Yeah. Me too. All right. I grew up in Tecumseh, a small town in Oklahoma. It was one of those all-American towns where everyone watches high school football on Friday nights and neighbors take care of neighbors. In Tecumseh, we understood poverty, but it wasn't a destiny that was inevitable. We were optimistic about our future, and we knew we could succeed with hard work, a good education, and faith in God. There weren't very many opportunities for young women, but we did have a great role model, a woman mayor, my mom. She taught me if I worked hard, I could be anything. And I took that lesson to heart and eventually became the first female governor of the state of Oklahoma. You know, in my community, there was a sense of optimism and determination that our community and our country could be better for everyone. And even at a time when the shadow of institutional discrimination fell over much of our country, there was no shortage of African-American heroes, black Oklahomans like civil rights leader Clara Looper, who was leading sit-ins and successfully integrating schools across our state and winning the fight for respect and opportunity. So when I look back on my childhood, my America, I don't see a perfect place, but we were united by a simple belief that no matter who you were or where you came from, better days were ahead for America. Today, I'm afraid we're losing that sense of unity and optimism, not just in towns like Tecumseh, but across this land, our country is divided, our people are afraid, and our spirits are nearly broken. But we can't lose that hopelessness and have it become the new normal. In America, we won't. You know, I, I believe the American people are longing for the American dream where they can just get a fair shake in life and an opportunity to succeed. We must make America one again and restore the confidence and the strength of our nation. And it's no secret Donald Trump is bold, tenacious, courageous, and he's an outspoken leader. And he knows how to create jobs and successful businesses. He has bold ideas, and he speaks truth to power. He is a man who will get this country on the right track, who believes in peace through strength, and will protect America against radical Islamic terrorists who seek to destroy our nation. Our country has united time and time again on our core values of freedom and individual liberty and justice for all people, the principles which made our country great and which it was founded upon. And Donald Trump unapologetically stands for those values. We are one in our belief that America must address the national debt, not by increasing taxes, but by increasing opportunity. We are one in our belief that we must protect our borders and promote fair trade that puts American workers first. And we are one in our belief 
that we must stand with our allies like Israel, a beacon of freedom and democracy in the Middle East. And we are one in our belief that we must respect and honor our military, our veterans, and law enforcement whose sacrifice keeps us safe and free. And we are one in our belief that every life is precious, regardless of race or class, including the lives of the unborn children. Now, as a party, we don't agree 100% on everything. That's OK. We don't have to. As Ronald Reagan once said, the person who agrees with you 80% of the time is a friend and an ally. We invite every American who believes in these principles and longs for an end to division and wants to make America one again to join us in electing Donald Trump as President of the United States. Thank you, and may God bless you all. God bless America.